I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, the surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. This week, we're going to have a look at the second salon. Come through. So episode two, we showed you this room. Here we've got Emma reading a book in the second salon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not funny. Okay, so this is the second salon. Okay, there's TV behind me. Um, but uh, the rest of the room is all full of antiques. So we've got a tall boy in the corner over here. We've got two really nice chairs here. Um, I'm not so sure on on uh, on age of all this furniture, but uh, yeah, we've got these two gold chairs here for kind of like thrones. Sometimes the bride and groom like to take those outside and have some photos taken on them. Uh, we've got enough seating for everyone in here. Um, we've got two huge chairs here, which are really comfy. Um, so when the family's over, mum and dad love sitting in these chairs next to the fire, which we've lit just to, to show you a bit of ambiance. Uh, it's the Napoleon uh, 3 fire, um, so that's end of the, a, a, end of the 1800s. Um, basically when we first got here, this fire wasn't here, um, but having a huge open fireplace really kind of creates a draft in the room. So we needed an insert. Uh, the French call an insert or poêle, a kind of wood burner, and we found this one that goes perfectly in in that in that hole. Um, yeah, so when we first got here, it was not great in this room. Um, it was kind of a bamboo style uh, bar, I think crappy club Tropicana, something like that. Um, and this fireplace just didn't look great. So what we did was we we renovated all the plaster work and then gave it a, a, a matte white finish uh, to really make it stand out against this lovely warm Indian ochre it's called uh, on the wall. The colour, yeah. it's beautiful. Uh, my mum chose this colour to go with the tiles. In this room unfortunately we have some 70s tiles which most chateaus generally have at least one room with it in. Um, but you know what, with the colour uh, we have on the walls it, it kind of goes well so um, we're not going to mess around with those tiles. No, and I love this chaise long in here. Mm. Again, or sofa, or city, depending yeah. on. Again, the couples love having the photos taken in this room. Um, and the, this room opens out onto both sides of the terrace, so the terrace where a lot of people generally eat uh, during during this day, and of course we have the wedding breakfast out there. And we're now in February. And yeah, yeah, well that time of year where you can have the windows open, it's still okay. Um, and then out to the other side where um, people generally have uh, champagne and cocktails on that side terrace. With a beautiful tree. work on the front of it and a huge marble top.
Do you like it, Emma? Is it nice? Yes. So be before we go off to Creon to have a look at a brocan, I just wanted to have a, a little word about uh, subscription and comments. I know most people say they need the subscriptions, they need the comments, but it's true. Uh, and, and we really need those subscriptions and comments off people. If you're liking our videos, please subscribe. And if you can comment, all the best. If, if you can do a thumbs up as well, well, you've ticked all the boxes. Ring that bell. Ring that bell, yeah, you've ticked all the boxes then. But what it does is it actually tells YouTube that our videos are quite good. Um, and it helps share those on YouTube then. If you don't like our videos, well, that's fine. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have you had a look at the winner? I've not found the winner's name, uh, but I, I can remember who was the closest. Um, I'm going to whip back through. I'm going to put it in the um, in in the description of the video. Um, but the amount of bottles from episode two, uh, we went on a wine tasting, and we asked people to guess the amount of bottles in an area. Um, the actual amount was ten thousand six hundred and forty. Um, now, one of the first few people to have uh, guess was around 12,000 or something. I think that was the closest. I'm gonna to have to go through all, all of the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's around 12,000. Uh, like I say, we'll put them, the person's name in the description. Hi, Ed. Hello. Looks beautiful on the terrace. Mm -hmm. And I can play with the doggies. One. And with Lonix. Hey, Poo Poo. Oh, you've lost the shoe, Emma. Yes, where's your oh, shoe? Oh, did the naughty other dog take it? Oh. I bet she did, you know. Let's go find your shoe. Oprah's naughty like that. Yeah. Come on, Bunny. Let Mommy pick you up. Let me pick you up. Let me pick you up. Good girl, Emma. Cheeky doggy. So we found the shoe, a bit bitten and chewed by the dog, but it's okay. They won't fit her anymore soon. So we are back in Creon and today we have something a bit different, a bit more exciting. Some people have asked us for antiques and brocantes and we're doing just that. We have an antique shop brocant in Creon, which is eight minutes away from us and we are all heading there today. That's it, we're here. Walk on to the Rentre de Mer, which is the area where we are here. And that's it. The first thing we see is a carriage. Billy, don't be thinking about it, although it is a nice one. And I can see lots of goodies here, like this old metal chairs that would need pretty much sanding down and repainting if it does new I have a thing for oil lamps and normal lamps so these ones could make really nice lamps for bedside tables and I have another thing for what I would call damjan which were these big containers that you would put wine or spirits. This place is full of things, like these brown pots, which I know many of you love. I mean, I love, I have at least three of them. You can never have too many. And we're heading in. There's a uh, deck chandeliers. Oh. 
And there we have the owner, Mr. Garcia. Bonjour, Monsieur Garcia. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Ça va. Alors, on emmène des enfants à chez les. Eh oui, tout le monde là. On les prépare. Le château, c'est beau ça. C'est à quel prix celle-là? C'est à 800 euros. Wow, look at this chandelier here. So this place is packed with goodies. That's a train set. Well, we're not sure that that will work because it's a bit old. This is the kind of thing that I love. Crystal containers. Usually I have a look here and then after I check with him and negotiate the price. Oh, look at this ruby crystal and more oil lamps. Look at this, uh, oh, Anna. That's a nice one. I like it. Got a little bit of inline here with the initials. Oh. BJ, GM. I'm coming, Charles. It's really nice. Wow, that is a massive armoire. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, price tag's a bit high, too. What is the price on that one? 3,800. Whoa. But it is massive. Beautiful. Yeah. And it looks pretty much the same tree, like all from the same tree. Yeah, matching. And there's a the price. Oh, 3,800. Mm -hmm. I thought you said 3,000. Wow. Yeah. This place is huge. There's Charles there having his own look around. Have you seen anything you like? Yes, I want to, want to buy a come. Well, no, <laughs> we have a look for it, so don't just buy. Why? Because we have a look. You might find something else. Let's go. Okay, let's go and have a look. Charles has something for me to have a look. What did you see? The train set. The train set. track. We want it. Okay, we'll, we'll see at the end. Okay? But can I ask the guy? Yeah, we can ask. We have a look at things and then we ask. Okay. Emma has seen something she likes too. I wonder what that is. Candle? Yeah, the candle holder. That's a nice one. <laughs> we'll say that. It's not, not too much nice. Look, the red one's not like these. I know. Uh, that's over here. There's a really large oak armor. Can we have a look because it's packed? Oh. It, normally, you know, a couple of years ago, this would be well over a thousand euros. And how much is it now? 450, 450. 450 euros, that's yeah. a bargain. That is a bargain. And it's so big. I think this here, I'm not 100% sure, but it could be something to do with a, a wine press. Mm, or, it looks like it. Or maybe something kitsch pretending to be a wine. <laughs> pretending. Something to do with a wine press. That is big. Yeah, bit of fun. Not so sure on the price though. Yeah. Have a look and maybe we'll find out. Charles, what did you want to show me? Look, do you want this at our house? Uh, it's very nice, but I don't think so, my bunny. But, Mommy, I really, I really like that tree track. I know you do, but it doesn't mean we get everything we see. Look at all the old pots. The I know, it's dirty, but it's okay. It can be clean, keep going. More armors over there. And that chair. Yeah, that chair, very good. Let's continue and have a look. This place here is really the kind of place where you have to just delve in and have a good old rummage. Um, lots to be found here, but it takes a bit of time. It definitely does. Mm. 
I'm just looking at this one because you can never have too many armors. We usually have one or two in stock, but now we don't have any more in stock, so we're always looking for more. So over here we have a dinner service. Now we already have ours from our wedding. And then we also have one that I got from the Bordeaux antique last year. And this one is from Limoges, which is quite nice. It's, it's simple, I like it. Just with a bit of silver on the outside. I can see a door here, which means there's more to it. So this is a massive, massive space. Just like Fulbrook Antoine. Look at this one. I'm gonna put the light on. I love the detail on this one. Wow, I love books like that with the covers. There are dictionaries. More things over here. More jugs and pots. Wow, oh, this is a place to spend pretty much days. So there's even more to see here. Just goes on and on and on. It does, yeah. Oh, books. A lot of books. This Another. is a massive armor again, and it's at 800. Oh, that's a good price. Maybe a bit of negotiation, it could be lower. <laughs> I just want to have a look at some of the books. Daddy, what is this? Uh, it's a game, but it's missing some pieces. Oh. There are a lot of books here. I'm going slow because I can hardly look how the floor is. I can hardly get in. It's that packed with things. I love art portraits. <laughs> A light from a skull. And more dinner service. Although here it's a bit mixed. Let's quickly have a look at this one. Sauvignon. Okay, I personally prefer Limoges, but you need a bit for everyone. Oh, oh this is different. service and then we have um, okay this is I don't think this is that old okay. egg holders we already have some child's loves too much eggs like that and to dip a little bread in it like soldiers but what I'm seeing here is something I like this table here. I love the inlay. The yadu fauteuil. Yadu fauteuil and four chairs. So there's two armchairs, four mm -hmm. chairs, and the, wow. the big and one over there. The, which well, yeah, the canopy. In, in the people. Five hundred. Wow. And I think we should make an offer on that. 
What do you think? I think I'm going to have a think. No? It's very floral for me. Let's check out. Ed's seen something that he likes. I'm not sure because it's very flowery. I mean, I like flowers, but I don't know how much flowers I like on chairs and armchairs. So these are the ones that Ed likes. Actually, it's fabric, so it's not too bad. Four, eh? four armchairs, four chairs. Voilà, il y a quatre fauteuils et quatre chaises. Et, et le grand salon. Le grand salon. Ah oui. Now I'm going to want something else. But where would you put it? So this is included as well, which is great. Four armchairs, four chairs. I just, I don't know whether I like it that much. I mean, the price is ridiculously good, but... Oh. Can I have a thing or do you want yeah, to? Yeah, have a thing. Yeah, I'd prefer this here. This yeah. is more my style. Yeah. Okay, have a thing. Okay. Au revoir, Monsieur Garcia.